Hello, welcome back to Podcast vs. Player episode 87. I'm Carl, and as always, I'm John by a man who's annoyed hearing about video game violence. For example, Manhunt the Game was banned because a teenager committed bloody murder. But Joseph Fritzl built a house, started a family, and yet you can still walk into shops and buy The Sims. It's only bloody dad. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the whole... Do you know what? I'm not even going to go into it. Hello, how are you doing? Hi. <laughs> I was unsure whether I could get away with it. Uh, I think as long as we don't address the fact that you ever said that, we'll be fine. We'll be, we'll be fine. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to tell you the other one, though, Dan. Okay, go on. Because it's awful. <laughs> good. I like a good um, awful joke. Blah, blah, blah. And as always, I'm joined by a man who's pretty annoyed after sending off for a Kellogg's personalised spoon that didn't have any with Tony the Tiger on. Fucking great. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> that was the backup joke. As much as I never thought I'd say this, I'm glad you went with the Fritzel joke. How you doing? 2016, you do. <laughs> oh god. I'm very well. How are you? Yeah, good. I'm still a bit coughy, so I've got a cold. Yeah, apologies if the odd cough sneaks in. Well, like infected people. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, viruses. Um, yeah. Would you like some news to calm down your cough? Um, yeah, absolutely, let's do it. Well, we're going to kick off with something pretty good, but also quite shit. Okay. Um, taking a cue from Mortal Kombat X, Microsoft has teased a guest character for their fighting game Killer Instinct, the Arbiter, from Halo. Ooh. Yeah, pretty good, but yeah. it's a shit game. <laughs> um, hmm, I don't know, I, I, I was never really a fan of it, and the new one was kind of like, you know, it's a launch title, it was supposed to be, and it's just, yeah, no one's interested. No, it's you, it's a free, it's free to play, I've got it, it's free to play, but you get like, two characters, and then you have to buy all the other characters. Is it like a rotating thing? So like, no. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, fuck that. It, it, it may have changed since I, I last played it, but I literally downloaded it, played it. Didn't like it. It's it's very slow, especially compared to MKX. Yeah, yeah. Very well, considering slow. you can finish people off in about twenty five seconds if you can pull off the right brutality. Well, yeah, and it's just overall a better fighting game. Well, um, it's more combat. Come on. Exactly. Uh, Master Chief's alien <laughs> chum made his fleeting appearance at the end of a video revealing the arrival of King Wu for Killer Instinct Season Three. Kim Wu was a character introduced into the series with 1996's Killer Instinct 2. She uses a special dragon power as well as nunchucks. Also set for season three are Tusk, Gargos, and Rash. The latter of which is a guest from character. Is a guest from character. Is a guest character from Battletoads. So that's oh, pretty cool as well. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Again, shit game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how, how much is it for these individual characters? Is, are they part of a pack or? Um, I think yeah, if you buy the seat, you buy the season. Um, it works off, kind of like um, uh, like like a Telltale game, but vastly more expensive. Oh. Um, I will look into it though, and if it's cheap enough, I may buy. Um, I think it'd be worth getting the Arbiter. Rash and Arbiter. Then yeah, yeah, cool. definitely. Yeah, if if you actually bought Rash and Arbiter. Um, when I'm down next, I'm, I'm more than happy to have a few rounds with you. Hmm. We will definitely. Sorry, I had to have a drink then because. Oh, fuck my, me! My are throat you, was dying. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Move anyway, on. moving on. <laughs> um, one of the biggest and probably only flaws we found with Fallout 4 is there isn't a multiplayer option for players wanting to roam the wasteland with friends. Boo. But. How about Roman Obsidian's take on the post-apocalyptic RPG, a.k.a. New Vegas? Would you be up for that, Dan? Well, yeah. I thought we'd talked about this last week in the fact that we'd like to see Obsidian come back and do Fallout, but from a different country's perspective. Yeah. So Fallout Europe, or Fallout China, something like that. Oh, China would be actually good. Um, I talked about this in depth last yeah, week. Yeah, no, but we went more into London, because London's way cooler. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, not not unless you actually have ever been there. It's the worst yeah, fucking you, place in the world. China, <laughs> if you live in China and you've never been to London, it's amazing. Don't go to London. Don't, <laughs> go, to don't London. go there. No. <laughs> um, whilst we still have no 
further news on whether Obsidian are going to make another Fallout game, modders have taken it into their own hands to create a multiplayer mod for Fallout New Vegas. Ooh. And the New Vegas multiplayer will allow you to get thrown out of post-apocalyptic casinos with your friends or attacked and killed by death claws if that's more your speed. Reddit user and modder NVMP underscore corporal explains how it works, saying all NPCs in certain regions will be synchronised to a host, but the quest won't. That means if a player connects to a host that has killed an important quest-centric NPC, then any relevant quest could fail. If the host leaves the region, then a new host is chosen and the NPCs will resynchronise to them. However, players will not be able to use VAT whilst using the multiplayer mod as it has been disabled. If you want to use the inventory, you'll be safe to do so. Um, but you will become invulnerable when it's open. Yeah. Items, however, are saved to the server and will get deleted when the mod team wipes the service during development. Um, yeah. If you are interested, you can sign up to the mod um, over on the NVMP uh, website, which is www.nv-mp.com. Looks pretty interesting. That sounds cool. I mean, as long as it works, then I can't mm. see why they wouldn't be able to translate it over... I mean, obviously, it'd be infinitely more complicated. Yeah. But if it works and it's popular, it's like Just Cause. Like everyone went fucking batshit crazy when Just Do uh, Just Cause Two multiplayer mod came online. Yeah. Um, but if it works, then yeah, I, I would absolutely open up all the files and piss about with the code and stuff if it means that I could play it online. Yeah. Even in some cool. broken version. Yeah, but yeah, that would be fucking brilliant. Works, even to the degree that DayZ works. Yeah. <laughs> Playable. Uh, works is a relative term. Hey, it's got a lot better. <laughs> yes, yeah, and I'm the first to admit that it's yeah. worth it. <laughs> I'm a lot more unforgiving than most people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but that's it for the news, Dan. It's what an interesting got? concept. I'd like to see it, but I'm more concerned about Obsidian picking up a Fallout 4.5. Yeah, and if, if I have a choice thing. between a multiplayer mod of, let's face it, a pretty old game. Yep. or a brand new Fallout adventure from Obsidian. I'm going for the new adventure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it would still be easier to... Because obviously Boston has been built from the ground up. Mm. If they're doing a new game, personally, I'd like to play off of that. So I'd much rather if they came through and said, we're going to do the DLC for it. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, similar kind of thing to what happened in Fallout 3, you know, the spaceships and all that kind of stuff. Or you can take on um, a different chapter of the uh, Institute or, you know, the Chinese come back or something like that. So I, I'd much prefer them at this stage to build on what there is rather yeah. than... Because if they have if they want to do Fallout London, for example's sake, that means they have to build London from scratch. Yeah, they've got to build a whole new area. And I mean, I'm, I'm sure that the, the code and everything and the, the engines that they've already got running fine for Fallout 4 would translate over pretty well but I don't know it, it just seems like a lot of effort and hassle to go to well to be fair I mean Fallout 3 came out um, god I can't remember when it came out now quite a while ago um, obviously <laughs> I want to say 2005 2006 well I I bought my uh, I had my Xbox 360 Elite <clears throat> and I, I got Fallout 3 and that was a long time ago yeah because that was like when the Elite first came out. Um, but I, I hadn't got a PS3 then, and I, I got Fallout New Vegas on PS3. So it had well, to be I, I remember a few it years after. When I was living in Manchester, so that, that I'm, I'm off slightly. It must have been 2008, I want to say, 2008, 2009. Because I remember buying it from an Asda, and it's still on the chart thing. Yeah, it's, so. got, it's got to be at least four years ago. I'd say it's more than that. It's probably about six or so. Um, but either way, it's it's um, it, yeah, it is still an old game. Mm. So I mean, if someone was to say I've modded Don't for get like me wrong, three, it's fucking great. Mm. I'd rather a mod for Vegas than three. It's true, but I mean, there's still you know graphically wise and in terms of what extra there is to do, other than a few new guns and the new missions and stuff and a new map. Mm. Everything else is still pretty much the same. Yeah. So they, they again they've just sort of built on the foundation and then just built the world around it. Which I imagine is easier than starting Absol from scratch. Absolutely, yeah. So I mean well, if they haven't got six years to make a new fallout, then build on what there already is. And I'd much rather I don't know, it, it depends though. What would you rather do, right? Would you rather wait two years for 
um, you know, a third party like Obsidian to step in and do like 4.5 and, you know, set it in a different part of America, but, you know, same kind of thing. Or would you rather give it another year and then have, um, like, not episodal maybe, but, you know, different DLC packs? So, you know, one for space, one for a secret sewer entrance or whatever. I'll take a couple of years. What, and wait for a new one? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, well, I'm still playing this one. <laughs> it's not It's not everyone else's fault that you're behind the curve. <laughs> no, but for, I don't think for, for that, it's not a game to enjoy in quick bursts. It's a game to get immersed in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing else. Finish it and then go, I can't wait for the next one. <laughs> but because it takes so long for most people, it's not as long of a wait. Uh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, you rinsed it, in all fairness. Mm. Um, I mean, it's you didn't just blitz through the story, right? you did the majority of, of most things available to you. Yeah, absolutely, um, I wasn't trying to complete the story as quickly as possible, I no, was just yeah. wandering around and seeing where it took me. Yeah, um, and that's how it should be, you should mm. be exploring, that's the, that's the idea. If you want to play a game that goes, you start here, you finish here, just go. Yeah. Then play Crash Bandicoot or some shit like that. Fallout has been made and they've put all this effort into it for you to explore and find secrets and yeah. you know, just do what you fucking want basically yeah, yeah. Um, so that's why, I, that's why I'd rather wait I'd rather wait for a, a bigger game that gives me more of what I know and maybe more uh, like a, a few extra new things that we haven't seen before yeah. rather than shitty episodic content that lasts half hour and then I've got to wait a bit longer yeah I know, I know what you mean but the, the fact is, though, that even though I agree in principle, if they announced today that they were doing <laughs> I'd buy six it today. deals, I'd, I'd absolutely buy it. <laughs> Season pass, done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, there's nothing that could stop me. Because then that gives me a reason to go back and start it again. Mm. I, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd, if given the choice, I'd say, I'd say I'll say i wait. Yeah. But like you say, if they just turn around tomorrow and said, you know... 45 quid season pass you get a different story every three months no 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 no. I mean I'm talking more sort of like it's a fiver for a new yeah, yeah, like level yeah, like stuff. two or three hours or whatever it is yeah yeah. but whatever you whatever you know sort of XP you earn and weapons you find and stuff they carry on into the single player then yeah yeah I'm down for that yeah that'd be good um, anyway that's it for the news Dan cool um, see you, see you next week <laughs> yeah, see you later guys Seeing as we are speculating, yeah, um, it'd be quite interesting. E3 2016 is happening, obviously yep. this year. Um, I have a few predictions, Dan. Oh Christ, we're not into E3 predictions already, are we? It's we a bit are. early in the bloody year, isn't it? it it's been that long already. Oh jeez. Um, I know I haven't actually pre-warned you to actually get some in mind. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of the the ideas. Um, to be fair. <laughs> we did this last time and you called Shenmue of all the fucking things <laughs> and Tomb Raider the year before I think we, that was we knew that was happening no hell. bollocks that was I was just like no 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 I want to see a new Tomb Raider and you were like no no it's too early for that and then boom Rise of the Tomb Raider announcement. that wasn't an E3 it was it definitely was it was an E3 it wasn't last year's it was the year before it was like the first reveal oh, I don't know I promise I'll you I'll take your word on it I'll take your word on it definitely because you was right with Shenmue I still don't know where I plucked that little just, fucking beauty from. I'm pretty sure you never even fucking played it. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> oh, I'm just it aware works. of it. That's what I mean. It just sort of came out of nowhere, and I was just like, "Oh, okay. How how on earth could I be right about that?" Well, Never mind. You need to think of an even more obscure one. Oh God. Um, um, whilst you're thinking, though, Dad, I'm going to just reel off a couple of ideas. Okay. Um. Well, it's not really an idea. Because it's kind of already been announced that they would show something, sure. um, but it's not been concrete evidence. But I'm going to put good money. We're going to see the Nintendo NX at E3. So as in the successor the, to the Wii U? Yeah, the, the, the brand new console. New console. Yeah. Um, and I think we're going to see, obviously, Zelda, but I think it's going to be announced that it's going to be a much like they did with uh, the Twilight Princess with the Wii and the GameCube. They postpone the release of, of Twilight Princess so they could launch it with the Wii right. um, and it released the same day on Wii and GameCube 
And I think again, I think that's why they've pushed Zelda back on Wii U, and it's going. They're going to reveal. It's going to launch on Wii U and whatever the NX will be called. Yep. That's my idea for Nintendo. I don't. I don't know. Maybe show us a few other Nintendo games that nobody cares about because Zelda. Um. I think Microsoft is going to announce a slim Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we're going to see some more on Crackdown, Quantum Break, and oh, what was it on Scalebound? Mm. And a new game that I've only really recently been introduced to is Phantom Dust. That's a new one on me. Yeah, um, it's. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure what it's about, but I saw a picture of it today, and it looks pretty fucking interesting. Okay, um, but. When I looked into it, they've had a lot of development problems, so it may or may not be one that we'll ever see again. Right, so this is sort of like Last Guardian kind of territory. Kind of, yeah. Um, and I think we'll see some more on HoloLens. Um, I don't know if you're sort of flogging a dead horse with HoloLens, though. I mean, VR is picking up pretty significantly. Yeah. Um, you know, It seems to be Connect 5.0. They've skipped a few steps, and because of that, it's not going to work properly. <laughs> yeah, because the Kinect was perfect. <laughs> well, no, that's what I mean. So instead of just getting better at something they've already got out that doesn't 100% work correctly, they're going on to something new. Yeah. Um, and then the Kinect's just going to be like left in the gutter, as we predicted anyway. Um, yeah. But a lot of people um, that have used HoloLens said it works really well, it's really good, blah, blah, blah. But how it's sold to people is it's this ridiculously immersive thing you put your glasses on you control stuff like the Minecraft demo we saw that was running in real time with a camera inside a hollow lens so everyone could see on the screens and stuff and it looked fucking magical it looked amazing but what the camera didn't show is the field of view is a lot smaller than what we're being led to believe so you can still see your fucking wall or your door. Well, um, that's the thing. It, it's not like a holodeck. It's not like you can just turn it on and you can walk through a forest. It's like, you're, no, you're still confined to whatever room you're in. Yeah, but that, they're not selling those points. They're not going, bear in mind, you can still walk into walls. <laughs> it, it shouldn't be sold as something that's a complete, you know, games will de- be developed around it. It should be something to um, make the games that are currently being released more immersive. Hmm. So, you know, a real-time HUD, for example's sake, yeah. or, you know, uh, an inventory screen where you manage it and move stuff around with your hands. See, I like the idea of watching Netflix or, or just a <laughs> film or something, and they kind of, like, throw the screen on a wall, and then the picture was there, and then yeah. they could use the hands to make the screen bigger. I thought that was really cool, but... It seems a lot of effort when I can yeah, just that, turn my TV on. I, I doubt that's going to be... You know, these are these are demos of its potential rather than what you would buy day one. Yeah, I imagine there's going to be a few... Um, what's the what's the term? Like, like tech demo type things that you can't yeah, interact yeah, yeah. with, but they'll be limited in functionality. Uh, but I think, we're going, I think they're going to show a bit more on HoloLens. Um, but I'm really only excited to see Quantum Break. I don't want a smaller Xbox One. I have an Xbox One. I don't intend to get another one. Um, I barely wanted this one. <laughs> <laughs> another free one that you didn't want. Yeah. But, I mean, don't get me wrong. I get, I get a lot of enjoyment out of <coughs> the Xbox. Um, I'm playing Tomb Raider um, at the minute. And it, and it's True, but you don't need to go and buy an Xbox One to play Tomb Raider. No, that's the thing. I mean, it's, it's now out on PC. So, um, not yet, it's not. I think it's a few more days. I think it's the 4th. Is it? Oh, well, this month anyway. Oh, um, easily, yeah. But, you know, you don't. again, you don't need an Xbox One to play that game. One of the games I bought, uh, I would have bought my Xbox One for, and as soon as... I mean, granted, because I, I didn't fucking pay for it, so you, you can throw that. But I really wanted Sunset Overdrive, and I got it, and I loved it. And I played it solid for, like, Three weeks, and I haven't touched it since. <laughs> anyway, back on to E3. Um, Sony, I think we're going to see more on The Last Guardian, Final Fantasy VII, um, big, massive, sexy remake, and more on Project Morpheus. Haven't seen, right. We haven't seen anything on Project Morpheus for a while. Hmm. 
So that's what I'm going for. Um, obviously, the likes of Uncharted 4, um, shit like that. But these are my guess predictions, Dan. Right. Right. Obviously, a new Assassin's Creed. Yeah. That's okay, we're, we're, we'll discount franchises. So, Assassin's Creed, FIFA, any kind of sports game, um, Call of Duty, all of that. All right, then. How about this, sir? How about this? Watch Dogs 2. Ooh, nice. Titanfall 2. Probably. Red Dead Redemption 2. Not a chance. I, that's, my, that's, my, that's my long shot guess. That's a pretty long shot. Um, and I think now that Battlefront is out and people love it, people hate it, people are unsure, people have never played it, people are always playing it, there's a lot of things going on with it. I think now that that's out of the way, we're finally going to see visceral Star Wars game mm. that we know next to fuck all about. I agree. Um, the only thing that I'd be make a surefire guess on is with all the amount of fucking Star Wars hype there will be some form even if it's Lego Star Wars whatever yeah um, there will be some form of Lego game announced ooh frost but I don't know wait did I just say Lego or Star Wars Lego idiot I mean Star Wars oh I was going to say I don't think we'll see any Lego games because no 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 Lego um, Avengers has just come out yeah I was just going to say Avengers is out and Dimensions is out as well soon yeah Quite like the look of that, actually. Lego Dimensions is awful. What? It's like Doctor Who and Ghostbusters and... Have you seen the fucking price of it, Dan? What? It's like... Right, you don't like Disney Infinity. At least those figures are pretty big, nice and detailed, and they cost about um, between £8 to £15, depending on where you go. The Lego Dimension figures are actual Lego figures, so the tiny, and the thirty-five pound. You want about the Lego sets? No, the Lego Dimensions. Yeah, the sets. Yeah, that you get a vehicle and a Lego figure with. Yeah. And that's all you get. Yeah, there's a Lego Dimensions game. Yeah, this. Is, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It's like Disney Infinity. You buy a Lego character. Oh, is it? And you put it on. I thought there were sets that go alongside. Yeah, so you'll buy like the Doctor Who set, but you'll get no, no. I mean, just a standard Lego set, but one's a Ghostbuster car, one's a Doctor Who play thing or whatever. I didn't know they actually had anything to do with the game. Yeah. Oh well, you, fuck that! No, no, no. Do it. Do another bloody. And the best um, of it is, right? We sat and worked it out because the packs that are available now is like Doctor Who, DC, Simpsons, blah blah blah. But yeah. it's like the Simpsons one. You only get Homer. The um, the Doctor Who when you get the Doctor and you get a TARDIS blah 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 so adding them all, all up right it worked out like £480 if you got them all mm-hmm. but obviously the DC one is Batman then they'll do another DC one that'll be the Joker and they'll do another DC one and then there'll be a Simpsons one where you'll get Bart and then blah 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 and you thought Disney Infinity was expensive <laughs> the actual well one. Lego's never been cheap well the game itself because my sister was going to get it. my nephew wanted it for Christmas and my sister said no um, just for the game right the starter pack bear in mind Disney Infinity um, Skylanders and all, all that stuff you can get a starter pack for about £35 three figures the game um, and whatever else 80 quid for the Disney, uh, for the uh, Lego Dimension starter pack sure. 80 quid and then you got to buy some fucking play sets for it. No, just give me a good old-fashioned Lego stuff. game. You can't build stuff. <laughs> it's fucking... Well, you can, but it's like pre... Like, go and build this house. If it was like Minecraft, you could just build whatever you wanted. That'd be ace. Yep. But, nah, it looks fucking turd. I'm not happy. Anyway. <laughs> well, if it came as a sort of, you know, um, like, uh, Marvel superhero Lego, whatever it's called... Mm. Like the big open world thing. Yeah. Obviously, you still can't build anything in that anyway. You can't in most of them. No, but it's got somewhat of content in it. Um, I don't know. You're going back to the old sort of Lego PC games where it was just a big digital Lego set. Oh, no. I meant like the... Um... That's what I'd like to see. Yeah. but with... if, I'm, if I'm paying 35 quid for 
a couple of characters. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, screw that. But that's a that's a good couple of Disney Infinity figures. Yeah. Anyway, enough about that kind of stuff. Um, I think we will see some actual gameplay of Mass Effect Andromeda. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can't really think of anything else. Um, well, like I say, I think Star Wars is going to be the go-to. I'll, I'll be fairly confident mm-hmm. of some kind of Lego title being... Fucking Lego! <laughs> <laughs> not Lego. Definitely not Lego. Um, I think I'm pretty confident, in fact, some kind of Star Wars title yeah. in some form or another. Um, I doubt it's going to be something like a Force Awakens game or anything like that. I don't think that's quite deserving of E3 rights. We can we can hope and pray on 1313. <laughs> um, I think 1313 is pretty much bed and, bed and derried. Bed and derried. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'd like to think that someone's picked up on that and just said it's a fantastic idea, something like that, in a kind of in a sort of Star Wars Rebels kind of way. You know, it's just sort of a ragtag group of people. You know, and then oh, oh my god, one of them's Jedi. Oh, unbelievable! And then, oh my god, it's Luke Skywalker. You know, something to tie the films together. There's always the films. Uh, sorry, there's always the games that can fill in the gaps between the films. Yeah, no problem with that at all. Um, but like you say, Battle, uh, Battlefront was a success or a failure, depending on which side you look at it. Um, but you know, D- DLC, uh, free DLC, has already been announced for that as well. So once that comes out, I think that's the, that's the point. I'm going to pick that up. Yeah. Um, but other than that, um, I think probably a new Battlefield because um, it's been several years now since Battlefield Four and the f- flop, the f- flop Big that was uh, balls. <laughs> yeah, that was Hardline. So I'd like to see some kind of return to form. Um, myself and Rick were actually having a conversation about this the other day, um, but in the sense of we'd like Battlefield to not kind of go down the Call of Duty kind of route, you know, where it's sort of like exosuits and future warfare and all that sort of stuff no. go back to something you know go back to just give us a good old fashioned World War 2 first person D-Day shooter something like that but with the Frostbite 3 yeah god damn it yeah I'd give me that any day I'd, I'd hap- happily go out um, I'm thinking um, possibly some kind of new Lord of the Rings game ooh actually um, no I forgot that a sequel to um, Shadow of Mordor yeah, well, don't steal my ideas God. now that I've come up with it. I wrote it down as well. <laughs> Just can't say it. Sorry, you can have that one. Thanks very much. <laughs> um, what else? Um, I don't know, actually. I mean, if we're talking sort of long shots, I mean, Red Dead's pretty much a long shot. If we're talking Rockstar, though, and obviously GTA is not going to be on the horizon for sure. Yeah. I'm still hoping that we get a Max Payne 4. Well, in terms of timeline, it's it's Red Dead's turn. Well, if, if anything, then it's bloody L.A. Noir's turn. Well, no, because that wasn't made by Rockstar, was it? That was made by Atari with was it? Rockstar. Oh. It's been a while since I've played it. So. <laughs> um, but no, I, I'd, I'd much rather see Max Payne. Or, do you know what I'd even accept? Max Payne Redemption. <laughs> no. And you know what I'm going to say, and you know that I'm going to sound like a massive hypocrite, but given that it's Max Payne, I'll allow it. Oh, God. The Max Payne remaster. No. It doesn't Think need a remaster. GTA, uh, GTA 5 engine, but Max Payne 1 and 2 remastered on it. About 3. Three still. I, I, honestly, I was playing three yeah, um, it's a, a few weeks ago. It's the same as the the Master Chief Collection. Four still looked fucking awesome, but remastered looked even better. So you may as well chuck mm. it in for fucking value. Well, yeah, if they're still going to charge me forty five quid for it, then yeah, throw in three as well. Um, I, I honestly, I'd like to see a new one, or maybe not necessarily just picking up from the end of Max Payne three, because I mean, this guy's a machine. You know, he's yeah. never going to get old and die. Um, but if they went back and you know did some Max Payne as a cop before you know he turned into a fucking psychopath, mm. then yeah, I, I just want to see something new. In the I Max think Payne we franchise. will see a new Max Payne three, but I'll be very surprised if it's announced E three. But I'll be um, more. I'll actually be more surprised at Max Payne than Red Dead Redemption. Well, Rockstar don't exactly hang around at E three. 
you know, you don't need something like E3 to launch a Rockstar game. See, this is the thing that's the likelihood of us seeing Rockstar at E3 is pretty slim anyway. Yeah, but, but you'd only have to again though. You'd, the Rockstar advertising would just have to be Max Payne Four coming soon. Yeah, well, and that'd be it. it. They could just walk off the stage. They did it with GTA. It was yeah, and um, it was the best way that you could possibly do it. Yeah, Sony had them for their um, video reel. Mm. They showed off all the games that were coming out, and they had GTA. So it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, I just don't think that Max Payne has quite got the same traction as GTA on a sort of a mainstream. So I don't think you could just say Max Payne 4 and people would lose their shit. A lot of people would. I think the right people would. Like, especially the gaming press. Um, I mean, Max Payne did very, very well review-wise. And as a game, I think it's better than GTA 5. In terms of story and character. Yeah, I was a lot more... um, I mean, I, I absolutely rinsed Max Payne 3. I did it in, like, three days. But that was constant playing, because I wanted to. I wanted to keep playing it. GTA yeah. 5, I loved it, and it was really good, but... After, it's a drop in and out. Yeah, kind of thing, I though, just end up dicking around. But that's the, that's the freedom that it gives you, though. Yeah. And that's that's why those things are interesting, but that's why Max Payne is still totally different, because it is it is still go from here to here, yeah. kill everyone along the way kind of thing. But like you say, it, it's still, it still makes you want to do it. Hmm. So, although Max Payne would be good, um, I did just have an idea then, and I've, I've just forgotten what I was going to say. Bully. No. <laughs> the sequel to Bully. <laughs> um, although that would actually be quite good, or a remaster or something. Um, Bioshock. See, I don't think we're going to see another Bioshock for a while, because... Um, the creator of Bioshock is already making a brand new game that isn't Bioshock. Boo. So, Mr. Levine, um, Ken Levine, I want to say. Right. Um, he has already been teasing his new game. So, I don't think we'll be seeing any Bioshock, at least from the same people. I'm still fairly confident. I mean, it's been several years since we saw Infinite. Mm. And that actually blew me away. Excellent. Um but you know, if you want to talk sort of like you know a new metro, maybe um, I don't know. Last when was last light out? Like um, a year, two years. Two thousand and twelve, I want to say. Was it really? Two thousand twelve, two thousand thirteen, something like that. Yeah. Okay, no. But that's that. Yeah, that's, that's. I reckon that's still probably on the on the cusp of a new one coming out. See, I, I preferred the first metro. What about things like uh, new RTS, new uh, Rome Total War, or <sighs> Total Sh- Shogun Total something two, or this Monopoly game you've been trying to fly <laughs> on, King, Kick Funder, kick funder. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Kick fun. Um Yeah, I don't know. I, you're probably going to see more, you know, sort of announcements for things like Minecraft Story Mode, um, probably a new Telltale game, you know, oh, Breaking Bad or oh, something. That Batman Telltale game. Batman. Yeah, you tweeted a fucking picture of it. <laughs> what? At Gamescom, Telltale teased their latest Telltale game, which is Batman. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> um, I don't remember this at all. When was that? Um, with, with, fucking hell. I can't even remember when it was now. Um, I'll show you after. After I'll show you after the podcast. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah, you, cool. defi- well, you definitely did. Well, if that's the case, then then yeah, I'm sticking with that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we'll see some of that. Um, as for sort of long shot pulling them out of the air kind of deals, <sighs> I don't know. I mean, Final Fantasy. I'd hope to get a release date. Um, um, same for South Park. The new South Park going to release for the release date for that mm. as well. Um, but there's, there's nothing really I mean I'm too sort of movie focused I think going to be over 2016 rather than paying too much attention to what's going to be coming out game wise um, so I don't know I'd, I'd like to think sort of like you know going back to old sort of PS1 titles and you know seeing if there's anything there that, that's got the potential to come back so you know Ghibli's Crash Bandicoot um, a, a different Final Fantasy maybe that the fucking hell they've, already, they've got Final Fantasy 15 and Final Fantasy VII Remake coming out. I don't think there'll be another one yet. <laughs> well, they can churn them out. 
Oh yeah, Kingdom Hearts three maybe. Well, that one's already been announced. Yeah, no, but we haven't seen anything. Oh, okay, yeah. It was announced at the launch of the PS4, and then we've seen fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> so I want some of that. Um, trick to birth. Do you reckon we'll see any Psychonauts two? Um, I don't know. I mean, they've only just hit the. Ki- I doubt they'd have something ready. They, they wouldn't have even known that they could go ahead and start making the game until a few they months ago. They knew they were going to make it. <laughs> that doesn't mean that they started putting work together. I don't know. Maybe like early concept stuff. Yeah, maybe concept art. No. You, you know what they did before that? Oh, like they just sort of showed like you know, the consoles and stuff and just said this is what things are going to look like and they showed concept art and stuff. But then they did follow that up with a whole creator-maker thing. Yeah. I suppose maybe. Maybe even just like a, a cinematic trailer. Yeah, maybe. It, it depends on if they've managed to push something together mm. in time for it. Be nice, it's nice. Um, yeah. What about um, other than Lego Avengers that we've already mentioned? Um, how about any kind of comic book games? Anything DC, Marvel, AD, maybe? Well, we're looking at uh, obviously Deadpool's out this month. Um, the remastered Deadpool game from last gen is already out, so I don't think we're going to see a Deadpool game for the film. Yeah. Um, the likelihood of seeing a Batman v Superman game is pretty fucking slim. No, and it would be terrible. Yeah, it'd be pretty fucking bad. As all Superman games are. Um, uh, Lego? <laughs> Lego well, Batman 2? No, like I say, <laughs> I, I, I give Superman a pass in um, Lego Batman 2 because it was the only incarnation of Superman in a video game that worked. But that was not about Superman. I don't know, he just was kind of... was all mm. right. To, mm. a de- to a degree. Mm. That's all I have to say. It's better than Superman 64. <laughs> well, it's better than Superman Returns. Oh, God, yeah. Um, comic book wise, though... Yeah, any, uh, anything that you think could translate over... I mean, you could even go back as far as... Um, what was it called? Like Marvel Alliance or Ultimate Spider-Man or something like that. I don't think we'll see any new Spider-Man games. Well, you know, Spider-Man is going to be in Civil War. He's also got um, a solo movie that's announced as well. Exactly, so, so we'll see the new Spider-Man movie game <laughs> when that's released. Yeah, when Activision finally get their claws into it. Um, there's a new Turtles game out. Um, I saw a trailer yeah, for I've that. Seen, yeah, day. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, that looks all right. Looks it looks very cool. reminiscent of the TMNT, you know, that kind of like CGI sort of turtle. Yeah. Rather than the, the new sort of weird troll things yeah, that right, we are now Shrek on steroids <laughs> um, yeah but yeah it seems to be very much based on on the comics and the old animated uh, cartoon yeah but it's it's all self shaded and it looks pretty cool but I'm pretty sure it's just going to be like an arena based hack and slash move on to the next area kind of, yeah, kind yeah. of game but aesthetically it looks pretty fucking cool um, what about um, new RPGs then I mean obviously Mass Effect is in there, as is Final Fantasy. But you know, what about new, uh, a new Elder Scrolls, I was a new just Skyrim, about to say, maybe? maybe a new Skyrim, because um, mm. it's different teams, isn't it? What they do Fallout? Yeah, and, so, yeah, yeah. You know, it's possibly been in development for a while. Um, I'm going to throw Kingdom Hearts back in there for the RPGs, but I'm not holding my breath. Mm. Um, I'll be totally honest; I can't think of any. Up and coming RPGs that are going to please enough people at E3 to have uh, more than a quick clip on a on a video reel, with the exceptions yeah. of South Park, um, Mass Effect, Skyrim, um, uh, Kingdom Hearts. So, with the it's pretty much a given we're going to see Final Fantasy. Yep. Um, whether it's fifteen and or seven, pretty much sure it's going to be both though. Um, but anything else, I can't, I can't think of any uh, RPGs. Um, not really, no. Um, I mean, in terms of sort of, there's you know the potential, obviously, for like space RTSs, um, space RPGs, maybe it's some new MMOs that are being launched. I reckon things like Warcraft packs and stuff like that, you know, a new expansion to Warcraft. <laughs> do you think they'll do a, a video game tie-in for the Warcraft movie? <laughs> Oh god, imagine that, and it's not World of Warcraft, yeah. it's just like a third person <laughs> cover based <laughs> That'd be amazing I'd buy that one <laughs> Yeah, um, I'd like to see some more 
from um, Full Honor, um, which was yeah, shown. I forgot about that. Yeah, I, I really want to see some more of that. So mm. hopefully, again, release dates. Mm. Um, but in terms of um, oh, there's something else I was going to say then. Um, no, I can't remember. <laughs> There's going to be a ton of stuff. There's going to be a ton um, of stuff. Yeah, and I reckon there's probably going to be a few that you're going to be like, "What, really?" Yeah. I'll tell you what I do want to see: either a new sport or a new black and white. No That's chance. what I want to see. No chance. No yeah, no absolutely. Chance. Black and white three. Hashtag kick You've got, you've got more <laughs> chance of the Psychedorch Shenmue Fallout Red Dead Max Payne car, <laughs> GTA <car-ting> Six game. <laughs> Disney Infinity Max <laughs> Payne Edition. <laughs> <laughs> there's, good, there's never going to be another black and white. Never. Oh, never, come on. Never, ever. Peter Molyneux, you son of a bitch. Give up on Fable. Go back to, uh, what was it, Lion, Lionhead Studios? Lionhead, yeah. Yeah, get back on there. No. It's more populous. Come on, get those get those oldies going. Come on. <laughs> I think it sold like four copies. <laughs> All to me, probably. <laughs> the thing is, it was a genuinely good game, but the problem was, nobody played PC games back then. Well, the only people that did were pretty nerds. Yeah, they played they played The Sims and they played RTS and stuff, and that, that was pretty much about it. I, I did that. I mean, I I I played like The Sims and stuff. I I loved my PC when I was younger, but it was, again, at the same time, it's the same argument is there was better games on consoles. Mm, at the time, there was absolutely. Yeah, no, I don't mean that. I mean. In the day, you played solitaire or Batman. <laughs> the pinball, pinball, space games, pinball, stuff like that. <laughs> what about a new theme hospital then? No, <laughs> Jesus. New God. theme hospital in like Unreal Three, but or Unreal Four even what with the fuck? Uh, with with an add-on for Surgeon Simulator. So you perform VR Surgeon Simulator, and you can do your own medical procedures on people who've got weird diseases and stuff. That I would pay for. I would buy an Oculus for that. I don't think I'd buy one for it, but I'd... I absolutely would. I'd certainly play it. <laughs> <laughs> new theme hospital, new more bullfrog games, come on. Oh no, because you're still going to have to use mouse and keyboard to do the operations. You're just going to be looking at it closely. Yeah, 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 but you get a second mouse. Or you plug your connect into your PC. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I'm, I've, I've, no, forget it. Kick one. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag don't bring back theme hospital. <laughs> Well, no, I, I don't want to see anything brought back. I want new stuff. Oh, Deus Ex. We'll see some more in Deus Ex. Oh, yeah. Um, man- Mankind uh, Divided. That's it, yeah. Because I'm pissed off that it's been pushed back, but I want to see some more. Um, I don't want to see new Batman, anything. do you reckon? New yeah. Batman? Nah. The new Batman will be the Telltale game. We're not going to see new Batman for a while. They're still pumping out DLC from Arkham Knight. Yeah, I suppose. Um, but, but there's only so many challenge map packs and stuff I can deal with before I say no 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 go back to Arkham City with the, the Catwoman we can just run about as Catwoman for a bit Well, I've, I want that but with all of them I, and a Batmobile I got like four DLC packs the other week um, mostly because they were free <laughs> <laughs> for a limited time but I did buy one which was the Batman Beyond suit oh yeah I had that in Arkham City yeah but it's, now have you seen the Arkham Knight one yeah, it looks gross. It's fucking men. It looks awesome. No. I much prefer the original one, but it, I think it looks pretty cool. But it, no, man, it I was... want the um, Sinestro cool Batman. Yeah. <laughs> I, I refuse to pay the, the amount of money they are for the costumes and stuff. I paid. I bought the Batman Beyond one. It was like four ninety nine, but it was on sale for like seventy nine p. So I'm like, yes, <laughs> I shall pay that much for it. Um, but I got the Batman versus Superman. Costume and Batmobile, yeah. um, and some other fucking stuff. Um, I got like four packs, but they were all free, so I was like, "Yeah, I haven't tried any of them." <laughs> I tried the Dawn of Justice car; it's pretty cool. Yeah, good. Yeah, it looks all right. Hmm. Yeah, I might, I might give it a go at some point this week, but yeah, I'm not too overly fussed. I just wanted to have them. <laughs> Yeah. Do we have a uh, date for E3 this year? Um, I haven't actually looked. It's usually round about April, July time. Okay. Well, I'm sure we can revisit this a bit closer to the yeah. time. I might but just there edit you go. over that bit and be like, I'm pretty sure it's. And they'll be like, January 24th. <laughs> <laughs> With a girl's voice. Yeah. 
but we 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 still got a bit to go. Um, yeah, yeah. But that is our predictions. Messed up. First of Shabby. first of February, two thousand sixteen. There's, theme hospital, bring it back. There's no theme hospital. <laughs> yeah, they will. If they're doing Final Fantasy seven, if they do a theme, theme hospital from around this, it'll be on mobile. <laughs> what about DZ two? DZ, they want to finish the fucking first one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, sorry, we, we finished it ages ago. We just didn't want to admit the fact that it was so bad. <laughs> we called it something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> on that note, though, Dan, um, where can they go and visit our other predictions for stuff that's already happened? Yeah, there's uh, the website you can go to www.podcastvsplayer.com or .co.uk. Um, you can also go to Twitter at podcast vs player. player. Piss um, <laughs> every time. <laughs> every time. God damn it. Um, you can send us an email to at no um, playervpodcast at gmail .com. Alternatively, though, there is a website. That I've already said. <laughs> but it has a link to the YouTube. But there's a contact us <laughs> section, and there's also a link to all the YouTube videos as well, which is www.youtube.com forward slash podcast vs player. Well done, you nearly did it all. God damn it, 80%, see me. Like... <laughs> 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 On that note, though, Don, I'm going, and I'm going to go and sit and watch the, um, the, the RSS feeds and just keep refreshing until E3's happened. <laughs> Good luck with that. We'll see you in a week then. Yeah, see you in a few months. <laughs> Bye. <coughs> you can cut out my coffin.